you know, use your piano, but I just couldn't resist this thing. I've wanted to play the piano ever since I was a kid, but I could never afford it. Oh, you play beautifully. Thank you. I haven't, I haven't heard chopsticks since I was a little boy. Right. You know, you're, uh, you're quite a magician. Not too many people could find me here. How did you do this? Oh, no, I just called your wife. She's a very accommodating person. Oh, yeah, she's a very charming woman, delightful woman. All right, Columbo, what can I do for you this time? Yes, sir, I, I came here because, you know, the other day we were talking about that suicide note, and I've got something here that I thought you might find interesting. Uh, this is the, uh, the typewriter. This is, uh, Jennifer Wells's. Yeah, how'd you know? I uh, simply surmised it. I, uh, I was there the other night. Do you remember that? Oh. Oh, gee, you're very observant. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, now, I don't know how much typing you do. Oh, not too much. I, I have a secretary that handles most of that for me. Now, look, I'm going to explain something to you. And the minute you don't understand it, feel free to stop me. All right, I will. Okay. Now, this is complicated. I want to get it clear myself. A person puts a piece of paper in a typewriter, and he types something. Then he takes it out, and then he puts the paper down. Now he remembers he wants to add something else, all right? Picks up the paper, puts it into the typewriter, and rolls the paper down so that the keys are lined up exactly the way they were before. Are you still with me? I'm standing here. Right. OK, that's good. That's good. Now, here's the problem. If you were to type over a letter, you'd always be a little bit off. Come here, watch what I mean. Come here, if I show it to you, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to take the letter S here, and I'm going to type over the original S. Take a look. You see what I mean? The second S doesn't match with the first S. That's because you rolled the paper back in wrong after you took it out. That paper is just the way we found it. That paper's never been touched. Oh, I see. Well, let me see if I can understand what you're saying. You're suggesting that the paper was typed, taken out, and then put back. That's right. Now, here's the problem with that theory. Why would a woman who's going to commit suicide type a goodbye note, put it in the machine, and take it out again? I don't know. All right. Suppose she didn't type it. Suppose somebody else typed it. All right, who? Who did it? Whoever murdered her. <laughs> You know, Lieutenant, you're really a cocky fellow. You're very sure of this, aren't you? I think that there is a very distinct possibility of murder in this case, yes. I think there's a possibility, but I don't think it's distinct. Suppose the murderer in this case was a friend of hers. Suppose the murderer in this case was a man who had access to her house, came and went whenever he wanted to, typed up that letter beforehand when she wasn't around. Promise me you'll think about it. When you come up with the correct answer, you'll let me know. I'm going to take a nap now. Will you excuse me? Suppose it was you. I heard you say something, but I wasn't sure what I you said. I said, suppose it was you. I'm not saying it was you, sir. No, I was just thinking out loud. You know you're an audacious fellow. You see, I have a theory, and I would like to use you as an example, if you don't oh, mind. Oh, please, use me as your example. Uh... Suppose, here, you take your car to Mike's garage. Your wife picks you up, she drives you here. You know, you're really intrigued with my little car, aren't you? Well, I am, sort of, because, you see, Mike didn't find anything wrong with it. And it would be a wonderful place to leave it if you wanted to prove that you didn't have a car. Now, why would I want to prove that? Well, if you didn't have a car, how would you get to Miss Wells' apartment and back here in time for the performance? You see, you can't take a cab because they keep records and there's no buses. You can't rent a car because you have to show your license. Getting in and out of here undetected, that wouldn't be too tough. You know your way around pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right, come on. Then you walk to Mike's place. It's only three and a half minutes. I timed it. You get in somehow through an open window, whatever. You take out the car. You drive to Miss Wells' apartment. You commit the crime. Replace the car, and you walk back here. Is that it? Well, I don't know. I think it's a 
a little thin, Lieutenant, uh, especially that bit about the car, you know, that oh, business yeah. about the car. I don't think that's very good. Right, right, that is thin, yeah, the car. Except for the fact that you forgot about the mileage. I forgot the mileage. Yeah. You know when you bring a car into a garage, they note down the mileage? And I looked at your car the morning after the crime, and the speedometer showed nine miles more than when you brought it in. Of course, you drove that route from uh, Mike's garage to Miss Wells' house. Exactly nine miles. Oh, well, I, I think you might have something there, Lieutenant. Of course, one of the garage mechanics could have taken my car and driven it around just to test it. They don't remember that, sir. <laughs> they don't remember that? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having a little difficulty imagining this hypothetical court case. I mean, there's no real proof. The, uh, there's uncertain garage mechanics. No, I don't think your theory holds up too well, Lieutenant. You see, I didn't kill Jennifer Wells. And it looks almost like a certainty to me that her untimely death will go down as an official suicide. Well, sir, I want to thank you very much for your time. Any time, Lieutenant. All right. Yeah, I don't want to forget my cigar. Good day. Oh, listen, just one more thing. Um, I know you don't agree, but at least I've convinced my superiors that Jennifer Wells was murdered was not a suicide. And they've officially assigned me to the case. That's my specialty, you know. Homicide. Just one more thing.